right guys, I think today we're going to do a staff, but maybe we can do a witch's staff and then talk about how we can turn it into a, a fairy staff or something more, um, you know, uh, mythical type, you know, that way we cover kind of two choices that I, ha I put up it, it the, uh, for some reason the cooking pot's not, um, getting a lot of thumbs up or anything. So just for now, since I, I don't, I want to get rolling on the video making today, let's just for now, I'll start working on the staff. And if it changes during the day, I'll see what else I can do. But for today, let's do making a staff and we can make it look Halloween-y or we can make it look mythical and fairy-ish and just talk about that sort of thing, okay? Because it's all the same thing. The only thing that will be different is what you add to this little curve here. It can be girly and pretty and sweet or it can be spooky or it can be wizard-like. This is more wizard-like. Um, so yeah, let's do that. That'll cover a few things. And I've, I already put out the wood I made for our fire cooking pot um, area, fire pit area. Um, I haven't glued it all, but I, I did paint them all yesterday. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to start with today. If anything changes, um, I'll let you know, but so far this was winning in both ways, the, the wizard and then the fairy. So might as well just go, go for it. Okay. All right, guys, I'll see you in a few minutes. Let's get started. Hi, we're back. Uh, as you can see here, happy Friday, by the way, uh, as you can see here, I have foil. Um, I'm, we're going to do the, uh, the fairy wand. It's going to look like this, but fairy-ish. Um, we can do, what we can do is discuss how we make the main, um, staff, the wooden part. And then, depending on which direction you want to go, you'll add accordingly to this little spot here. Right here, this is more like a witch or wizard staff, because it has like a, orb, an orb, um, but we can do like clay with some flowers. We can do anything. You can do literally anything you want with a glue gun and some beads and wood or whatever you, whatever you want. All right. So let's just work on forming the staff first. All you're going to need is foil and the usual suspects. All these colors here. Okay, so we have coffee latte, melted chocolate. You can do any version of these colors that you have at home. Here's white, and here's black. Um, you can do any version you want. It doesn't have to be these exact colors. It can be any dark brown, any light brown, any black, any white, and so on. Okay? All right, so we have our water to dip our paintbrush in. We have our paint ves vessel. We have our paintbrushes. I'm gonna uh, put get together some fairy stuff, some other ideas that we can do. Um, for just the staff itself, all you need is foil and those paints. Once we get to the part where you can add an embellishment, that's when we'll add all the cute stuff and you'll need your glue gun, glue sticks, and whatever you want to add to this little curve here, okay? All right, so this is the intro to the video. All the stuff you'll need for the first part is, for the staff part, is just foil and paint. That's it. So if you want to get started collecting your stuff now, um, I'll pause the video and then we'll make our staff together and then we'll um, move on from there, okay? I will see you in a few minutes, guys. Work for you, just a second. Okay, let's do this. Sorry about the foil sound. Um, I'll try not to make too much noise for this initial crumbling. We're just going to take this large rectangle. You do your size however you want. I'm going to be folding this for stability. So what I'm going to do is fold it long ways. So, long ways, you can see, long ways, once, okay, and then I'm going to fold it the other way, once, so I end up with a piece of this size, 
show you relative to this pumpkin, maybe. Let's see. Okay. I started with a large piece so I can make it strong. And now I'm just going to take this and, and go like that. Okay. Mine's ending up looking a little large, actually. Hmm. You know what, though? Let's see. Okay, this is this is the part where you decide how large you want your staff. It depends on if you're making a diorama. It depends on if you just want to make one for fun, for some sort of decoration. Um, I'm going to roll with this because I already have one for my diorama, so the size that I'm making at this moment, it's not too much of a big deal. Not to mention, I'm going to be putting some swirly cues in this. I'm going to be swirling it. So press in, get, do your little wooden wrinkles that you know that you're going to be doing. Okay. And now, if you want this uh, little curly cue right there, you do that at the end. Um, if you want some twirls like we have here, you can do that now. And then you can form, once those curly cues are in, then you can form your final little curve, this little curve here. Okay? Um, I actually am enjoying this size because my fire pit that I made is approximately the same scale. The other one was super tiny. But this scale, this right here, is going to work out pretty well. So what I'm going to do, and you don't have to do this, this is what I'm going to do. Let me turn my camera so you can see a little better. I'm going to put some curly cues in it. You can do this with your hands or you can get like a stick of some sort and wrap around if you don't have faith in your own curly cue making this. Okay. Now remember, a staff is meant to help the wizard fairy or whoever it is perform magic but also stand if they're an elderly wizard or something okay so you're gonna want to make sure that you have the tip here so that if they use it as a walking stick they can okay let me put this down a little walking stick okay so you do want this facing toward the ground and not being too terribly curly you need you do have to have a standing you know like if they want to stand and lean on it or something if it, if, if that makes sense. So let's make sure we have that going on. I think this one does, but let's just be sure. Okay, I think that is. I think that's good. Okay, so I took a paintbrush and I just wrapped it around made a little curly cue. Okay. Okay. Now while we have it wrapped on a stick, if that's how you're doing it, just make sure you have all the curls you want and everything, all the swirlies that you want. And then we can remove the thing. Okay. All right. And this is what I'm ending up with. I, I dig this. I think this is cool. Um, now, we do want to have like an area like this where we have like a gem or an orb or something that looks suspended inside. So if you want that, we want this to be curly. This part, the top. Okay, and then you can decide, do you want it curled so it's facing you this way? Do you want it, you know, you decide the position you want, whatever it is you're going to be putting in here, okay? Remember, it's foil, so you have, you have the option of um, changing it if you want to, okay? Um, so, what I'm going to do, yes, we can do... A staff like this with an orb or it, you know if like if you're doing you know like a witch and wizard Halloween diorama or just like a, a fantasy diorama or or just you know something like that some mage um the orb this I'll tell you quickly is a wooden bead I closed the holes with clay then I painted it blue and then I painted it with a uh, glitter glitter paint, white glitter paint, or sorry, clear glitter paint. See? It was, it's really easy. It's, it's truly 
extremely easy and you can quite literally put whatever you want there okay all you need is a glue gun and you can affix anything you want there so um, we can also I might add we can add green floral wire which has like a nice fabric coating or you could add brown floral wire that we used yesterday to make like vines you know kind of climbing up your staff um, this is all your imagination, whatever your theme is. Um, I'd actually love to see what you guys create, as a matter of fact. Um, but yeah, this video is going to be on how we make the staff itself, and then I'll do a little part on where I end up with something cute in there. Okay? But the next part we're going to tackle is the painting. Just like we painted these faux pieces of wood, just like we painted our um, cooking pot frame just like we did this staff all it is is foil and our paint that's it very very easy very inexpensive I just bought this foil today from Target for 89 cents 89 cents for 85 square feet uh, and these paints were, I think, 89 cents per bottle or 86 cents, something like that. So you can make probably 30 of these and it'll only cost you like $1.50, <laughs> something like that. I don't know, but it's very easy, guys. Um, so yeah, so our next step, once we have formed our staff the way we want, you could choose to choose, uh, you could choose to make the bottom pointy or flat. I think I'm going to do mine a little pointy and flat if that's a thing. So I'll point it up and then I'll flatten the bottom. That's the, that, this is what I choose right here. I think that's probably to scale, depending on who we're talking about. Is it a witch? Is it a hobbit? Is it a fairy? Um, is it a fairy elder? We don't know, but I think this works. Okay. All right, so let's get to the part where we're painting. Um, I think I might do some of it on camera. Uh, I'll think about that for a minute. I don't know if you guys are tired of seeing me paint stuff, but um, I'd like to. But I'll give that some thought while you guys are working on your um, staff and the design. You don't have to do curly cues if you want. You could do a staff that's literally straight like this. And then you can hot glue something up top here and wrap it in wire um i mean there's lots of things you can do so you do not have to have the curly cues like i do you can have it straight and this is simply foil and paint just like everything else super duper epic easy okay so i will let you guys make your staff and then i will come back if you want to pause the video or whatever feel free um i'm gonna let you do that and i'll be back okay all right see you in a couple seconds Okay guys, <clears throat> I haven't started painting yet, but I wanted to show you the, the way I'm going with the staff is I'm going to use my clay and I'm probably going to use these flower beads, one on each side, um, paint it pink and probably use this fine glitter. And I have my paint here. Um, and I'm probably going to take some tool and some of this fabric and just tear it. Like kind of in a messy way. And tie it to the staff. And let's see. What else? Oh, and some twine maybe. To make it look like a fairy. You know, that's all she could find. To keep her staff together or something like that. I don't know. And then we have the floral wire. The brown and the green. That we can use for whatever we want. Just like the... Um, cooking pot frame so but if you want to go the scary route or the magic route I have these eyes that you could press into the clay if you had some of these at home I got these from uh, actually Timu for like 36 cents or something but you could probably find these on Amazon for not not a lot probably a couple dollars I'm not really sure but I got mine from Timu awesome shop I hope that doesn't offend anyone. 
Uh, let's see. Um, so you can use eyes of any size and press them in and bake. Uh, let's see. What else can you do? Oh, I wanted to show you I was going to use these little mini flowers too. Um, yeah, so anyway, back to the eyes. You could use the eyes. You could use um, black glitter, black paint, um, anything spooky you have around the house. But I do want to try this eye thing because I did use that in my cold and I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, I'm going to start painting now, but I just wanted to show you the stuff I'm, that I have out. And I'm probably going to, I'm going the fairy route for my staff. But you do not have to. You can do spooky. You can also do that orb that, um, that I showed you earlier. Here, where's the, here it is. Whoops. Like this. This is just a bead that I painted. I closed the holes with clay. I baked it quickly. Um, with this kind of clay right here. Super sculpty. Um, then I painted it with blue glitter paint. And, and then I sprinkled a little glitter while it was still wet. Alright. Okay, I'm going to start painting. I don't know if you guys want to see me do that or not. I assume not. So maybe I'll come back with my second coat or two. Okay, and I'll see you guys back here. Okay, first layer. Almost done. I'll come back and show you the second layer. My icky water. Yep. I'm looking forward to this one because it's going to be ultra girly. It's going to be really cool. Okay, I'll be back. Hi guys, I'm watching um, a show on Netflix called Predators. It's episode one about cheetahs. So I'm just gonna chill here with you while I finish my. Snatching it for herself is a signal to his staff. Um, it's time for them to leave. What do you call it, staff? And find a territory of their own. I don't want to dirty up another brush at the moment. I just washed them, <laughs> so I'm kind of like. <laughs> using my fingers. They won't last long without months of I know, this is dumb. Let me see if I can break a piece of paper towel. Okay. Sometimes washing things too, like just too many times kind of drives me a little nuts. But I think I should. Let's see. I'm in my robe. I hope you don't mind. I'm in my jammies. It's six o'clock. I hope I get this video up in time tonight. It's. I will get it up, but it'll be late if I don't hurry up. So let me, uh, let me get moving here. I just wanted to hang with you and say hi. Having kind of a rough day. I could use a hug. Whoops. But she won't be able to keep the milk up for much longer. Take a little. Oopsie. I can't leave these here. What the heck? Okay. Yeah, my staff's almost done. I just found those little silver spots, you know, you have to fill in. I hope this video won't get any uh, copyright. Um, Infringing. Luca told you are surviving almost entirely on hairs. I should probably mute this actually. They carry each city by cleaning each other's faces. This so cute. I love documentaries. Do you guys like documentaries? To show their utter devotion. These cheetah are best friends. They're males, and they found each other like six years ago. They said it's pretty, pretty fascinating. The Solaro family, They're best friends. Things have gone from bad to worse. Their sickness has intensified, and the skinniest son is now a wasted figure of mere skin and bone. I don't know. This is getting a little sad for me. Okay, just wanted to show you what, what uh, stage I'm on. The thought of 
This is so sweet. It gets so hard to watch sometimes, though. When animals are struggling. <clears throat> they just showed a wildfire. It's kind of sad. They showed a hyena who was singed by the fire. <sighs> They're so beautiful. Alright guys, I'm going to pause and move on to the next stage. For you, it'll only be a couple of seconds, okay? Okay, be right back. Hello, I'm back. I just want to show you my finished painted staff but what Nikki and her family don't know tomorrow we'll do more decorating we'll do you know the piece we're gonna put in here and things like that but I just wanted to show you my finished product in a flash you like it? see does it look real I think it looks cool it's still a little wet shoot but yeah, there you go. There's the staff, my staff. And uh, we'll work more tomorrow on the decorations. It's easy to get separated. And whatever you want to put in here. Okay, guys. I hope you had a good day. It's the weekend, so I hope you're going to do something fun. See you soon. In a matter of hours.